Major gears, Donald Trump is just one step closer to the Republican nomination for president. Trump, the projected winner of yesterday's primary in New Hampshire, beating out former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley by over 10 percentage points. Well, the former president is now eyeing a November rematch with President Biden, but Haley says she isn't going anywhere. NBC's Hallie Jackson has more. This is a great, great state. Former President Trump overnight on a winning streak and on attack after becoming the only Republican in a competitive primary to win both Iowa and now New Hampshire. This is not your typical victory speech, but let's not have somebody take a victory when she had a very bad night. Who the hell was the imposter? that went up on the stage. Mr. Trump clearly furious at former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley's pledge to stay in the race and deny him the party unity he wants, promising to keep up his barrage in her home state. They will head out to South Carolina where I think we're gonna win easily. But I felt I should do this because I find in life you can't let people get away with bullshit. The former president even targeting Haley's appearance at her speech earlier that night. And when I watched her in the fancy dress, that probably wasn't so fancy. Haley speaking soon after the New Hampshire results came in, sharpening her attacks. With Donald Trump, Republicans have lost almost every competitive election. We lost the Senate. We lost the House. We lost the White House. The worst kept secret in politics is how badly the Democrats want to run against Donald Trump. And suggesting President Biden may not complete a second term. A Trump nomination is a Biden win and a Kamala Harris presidency. <laughs> Haley winning a majority of self-described moderates in New Hampshire and first-time GOP primary voters. The former president dominating in New Hampshire among core Republican voters, including the majority of self-described conservatives. His march to the nomination appearing on pace despite the multiple indictments he faces. But in New Hampshire, four in 10 voters say they'd consider Mr. Trump unfit to be president if convicted. Do you believe that your legal issues are helping or hurting your campaign, sir? They're fake issues, they're Biden issues. It's all uh, election interference. Here's a look at the delegate count so far. Trump leads Haley by 15. The magic number, 1,215. That's how many delegates one of these candidates will need to secure the nomination. Now, there are still well over 2,000 delegates up for grabs.